Hi all. So this is uh, just a news update that SXOS has been updated to version 3.0.3 .3 beta, as they always are beta. Um, don't worry about that little title. Um, and this is uh, really for people who have SX Core and SX Lite um, on their um, are using those on the new Marika consoles. If you're using the old Arista or the RCM with the the jig, then you don't really need to worry too much about this update. Um, I would recommend updating anyway, but this isn't really designed for you. So people on the new consoles had used uh, Choy Du Jour to update um, or upgrade their consoles uh, to the latest firmware. And uh, basically what it's saying here is Choy Du Jour is not designed for the new consoles and it caused them to um, have like a sort of semi brick. So what it is, is there's a tool here uh, for you to fix uh, that problem. So I'm not going to be able to show you anything because I don't have a new console, I don't have a soldered um, SX Core um, or SX Lite, so I don't know much about it. Um, but so accidental bricks, it's caused by running the tools. Um, so that's a choix de jour on um, that were designed for the Arista, but they've been run on the Marico. So hopefully, when you what you do when you're gonna um, boot into this is going to have this up downgrade to version 1.1 which will uh, immediately uh, solve your problem hopefully um, there is a flasher uh, which is a separate application which is being released uh, it's only for windows um, tends to be the way with these sort of things um, so that would help you as well if you are having these issues unfortunately I'm not able to replicate these issues I know nothing about them until I've read this um, article but uh, there are some sort of solutions out there if you are if you've had um, a black screen or um, you're having it it looks like it's bricked and you're, you're really worried about it try a couple of these so a cleanup this here says it will remove all traces from SX core light on your NAND if this is true uh, so unfortunately this isn't for um, the old consoles but if this is true this would be very good for being able to remove it and go straight back to square one and then you might be able to go online with it i don't know if that's really going to be the case but it does sound very promising that it'll be sort of like like a stealth mode where it'll get rid of everything that sxos has used on your nand makes your nand look fresh it'd be amazing if it does work and this is genuine boot so boot straight into original firmware without going through the typical sxos boot chain this is different from using regular boot original firmware functionality for example you won't be protected from getting your fuses burnt. Only use when you know what you are doing. So when you um, boot original firmware through SXOS, so you boot into SXOS and then you choose boot original firmware, so one of those three options, um, it will protect you when you update to burn your fuses. But what this is, is because you've soldered something onto your console, this is gonna let you skip that and go straight into normal like you would. Um, and I presume that would go hand in hand with this uh, wipe your NAND. So you can wipe your NAND, go into a genuine boot, and it's as if you're using an unpatched console. So I presume, don't hold me to this, that then that way you'd be able to go online, you'd be able to download um, updates and stuff like that. But I it really would um, exercise caution when you're doing this. And as I said, um, minor stability improvements. So under the hood improvements, um, increased stability and performance. So always updates the latest version of SXOS, whatever console you're running, always get the latest version because they do have these little improvements which would help you. So then under here, it does say as well, this is an SX flasher. So this is for people who have um, used Shoy Jour and, um, and have like put their console, it's gonna flash it back to where it should be. Um, it says you can use over-air functionality from SXOS, but I never get that to work. It just doesn't ever work on my uh, console, and I don't know why, okay? So all it is is people who have got SX Core or Lite really highly recommend getting this version and using this downgrade to version 1.1. So it says you've got to do that straight away, okay? And that is going to stop um, any more further black screens. Um, if you are using... Um, SXOS Pro, um, whatever you want to call it on the original consoles, get it just because it's got some stability improvements. But um, the big thing to take away from this is, sure as you don't use it on those new consoles. There's got to be a new 
program that will come out or they'll update your du jour which make it kind of compatible with these new consoles but really exercise caution um, and don't use that program until there is some sort of concrete evidence that it doesn't uh, damage your console anyway guys really appreciate you coming back and uh, watching my videos uh, take care thank you